Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73, back with the Double E Show. It's moving Mondays with American Truck Simulator. So when we left off the last time, we grabbed some pallets to go to Portland from Houghton. And we are going to take those pallets there now. So, away we go. Let's take the park break off, and we'll get rolling. Happy Monday, everybody. Um, I'm recording this back-to-back -back with last week's episode, so I will not be talking about this week's upcoming games. Uh, but please, enjoy them, uh, starting at 2 o'clock today, all the way through uh, Friday. Uh, every day of the week. Games, games, games. It's what I do. So, hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, can't really talk about how my weekend was uh, yesterday and the day before, because... Um, that's next weekend. Future is so hard. Um, uh, but anywho. I'm hoping that you enjoyed yours. I'm just going to roll through this stop sign. Without taking it out. I didn't take it out. Very good. Yeah. We're going to come down here. And we're going to get on the highway. Oh, jag off. Pardon the uh, expression. I don't know what that was about. I had my turn signal on. It doesn't mean you go. It means you wait to see if I'm going by or not. Because obviously I put my signal on a little early. Sort of my fault, maybe? But not entirely? All right, let's get her up to 75, and we'll head back south, going towards Bangor and Portland. Oh, goodness gracious. Traveling at night. Let's see if I can do this without driving off the road. I almost can. Almost. And boom. Not bad. I'll give that one a B. Uh, hey, couldn't find a job. Had to return empty. What is wrong with you? Fuel and maintenance costs. You cost me 207 bucks for not having anything. Um, I gotta, I'm all over the road. Okay, there we go. I want to be doing 70. Or 69. 70 is good. I am seriously all... Stop it! What the crap? Okay. Jibba, calm down. Even though the speed limit's 75, everybody is going to be going much slower than that. Take some speed off. Right on. We're going to go 65, 64. 64 is fine. I can do 64. We're still going to pass all these pokies going down the highway. I'm going to merge over because I don't see anybody coming on the highway. Very good. So, let's see. What can we talk about? I have been tinkering with my recording settings um, so that I can get better frame rates in ATS and I will be checking them after this recording and I have been tinkering with my frame rate or with my settings in OBS uh, Streamlabs OBS so that I can record Apex more smoothly since in some of the recordings, it's a bit choppy. But the way that I'm editing the Apex videos, it's less noticeable because it's not long stretches of combat where I'm running around uh, uh, ace killing a bunch of people. It's more me running around and then I die. I run around and then I die. And uh, a lot of the clips are of me dying because I, um, I do that a lot. Uh, looks like it stopped raining. It did. Very good. Cruising along. Hopefully that means that traffic will pick back up speed now. I think the speed limit says 75. But I think it's actually 65. Um, or 55. I don't think they adjusted the speed limit on these sections of road properly. 
on uh, Coast to Coast Map because I am quickly overtaking people at 65 miles, about 64 miles an hour in a 75 mile an hour zone and I have the settings set to show truck speed. So, it is what it is. But I'm hoping that uh, by tinkering with my settings and my recording settings, um, that I get a, a, a smoother appearance. Um, yeah. Like, for instance, okay, in OBS, recording ATS, I have it set up to record X264 120 frames per second okay now when I was doing it at 60 frames a second super super choppy because even though I had it set really high to, 100, to 60 frames per second I was only getting 10 to 12 frames per second in the recording so I could see the jitteriness and the choppiness. Now, having it set to 120 frames per second, ironically, I'm getting between 15 and 20 frames per second in the recording. But it looks a lot smoother. At least to me while I glance over at the recording software. So, you know, it is what it is. We shall see in editing how it looks. Okay, let's see which trucks are going to come. Slowing down to 30. pass everybody on the right because nobody has any uh, power I've got the power all right 55 mile an hour zone I don't think so 64 it is and 75 mile an hour zone 64 it is but we're moving right along I love that little, uh, the, the mirror ornament right there. I got that over the holiday deliveries for Christmas. I like it. I like it. Um, what's going on up here? Okay. Uh, road work ahead. I don't know which lane they're taking out. Left lane, okay. So we're going to be merging down from left lane to one lane. 55 mile an hour speed limit, got it. Right on. End of road work, it is. We're going to get back up to speed. That was a short construction zone, just saying. goodness that's overhead that's what I wanted to get the stars at night are big and bright ch -ch -ch -ch, deep in the heart of Bangor that's that's not how the song actually goes just so you know it, it's supposed to be Texas in case you haven't heard that one before I uh, I'm pretty sure I heard that when I was a kid but I remember it specifically from uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. If you haven't watched the movie, um, no, you'll probably hate it if you know nothing about Pee Wee Herman. Um, but if you know anything about Pee Wee Herman, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, great movie. Lots of fun. Sequel, really good as well. But I love the first one. I think the second one was called Big Top Pee Wee or something. Oh, goodness gracious. So, let's see. What can we talk about? Oh, yeah, I did the uh, changing my 
my settings to try to get the games to run smoother or look smoother in the recordings uh, for these games that have a lot of uh, steady motion require a lot of uh, frame rate uh, hopefully that that ends up looking real good and uh, I'm, I'm shooting for yes uh, but we don't know uh, the other thing um, I was thinking about changing the format of all my recordings a little bit I noticed um, some youtubers will put up like a five or ten second clip of something that's pinnacle that happens in the episode and then they do their intro uh, you know and then you watch the video and you you know that leads up to the pinnacle movement that they quickly preview at the beginning and uh, I've thought about doing that so I don't know it's just an idea uh, if you've made it this far into this video and you happen to think that's a cool idea, uh, let me know. Because um, uh, I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely try it. I know I, I did that uh, f uh, quite a few times way back when, um, a couple years ago in my recordings. And um, I don't remember why I stopped. I, I think I think... I found it a little tedious to do it, uh, but that was with my old recording software where it was actually uh, difficult to split and splice videos together like that. So that being said, you know, it's a lot easier now, even though Vegas Movie Studio is still a bit rubbish, to be perfectly frank. When I'm doing my recordings, when I'm rendering my videos and I'm cutting the video up into segments I oftentimes have to I have to save after every last step and I oftentimes have to use the task manager to close out the frozen program, start it back up, and open up a previous save to uh, to get back to where I was. Because in any video that I'm rendering, at least three times an edit session, it freezes up and I have to do that. And that, that is ridiculous. And it's it's a freaking Steam program, guys. Uh, why you're hanging up, I have no idea. Why you can't keep up with simple edits, I have no idea. But you're not doing it. You're not doing it well. Your program is a bit rubbish. Just saying. I'm a little annoyed. All right, we're going to take a right at the end here. And don't hit the flammable gas truck. Okay. Pull out. Get up the road here. Gonna take a left. Oh, looks like we're in uh, farm country here. We, we kind of are. Right on. Take this left. Like this. There we go. And just up the road here, looks like there is a... A garage? Is that a garage for sale? Hmm. I'll have to spec that out after the delivery because it's heading in the other direction. There's a motel to the right. Very good. An RV park or an RV sales spot. Very cool. 
anything coming that way. Stop! That was a copper. Whoop, that was a little jittery. Looks like we're going in here to Walbert. Did I actually miss the entrance to Walbert? I I kind of did. Oops. <laughs> I don't think I don't I'm not sure there's a turn around here. Let, let's let's head down this way and see if we can turn around. If not, Nope. This is a Dead end rude. Can't proceed any further. It's not a brick wall per se. Uh, I'm backing out blind. I have no idea if anything is coming. way there we go okay now pull in a little wide how you doing Jeff what's up bud I'm not doing the auto parking I am pulling straight in I think I can handle this one thanks for the vote of confidence See if I can try not to run over that cone. Right on. And there we are. We're going to set the parking brake. Turn the engine off. And we are going to hit enter. And how do we do? Excelente. I'll take it. So that job was uh, 9500 That's not too bad. I mean, we only went from Houghton to Portland. So uh, listen, I'm going to try to find a job over to New Hampshire. And, uh, and if I do, uh, that'll be the one I take for next week. So if you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends if you have any suggestions. This is what you'd like to see me talk about here on Moving Mondays with American Truck Simulator. Put them in the comments below because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Monday for another episode of Moving Mondays with American Truck Simulator. Peace. That was a failure of epic proportions, unacceptable.